live streaming with the Tascam Model 12. How do you do it? What are the things that I've kind of run into as I've jumped into it? Let's just jump over to here. Again, Tascam Model 12, I have got it routed uh, in via USB. I'm not using a second audio interface. This is the only audio interface uh, that you're hearing. I've got an external preamp uh, plugged in that I'm running into channel three here. You can see a signal indication up at the top. So this one is my voice. You can hear that I have got uh, my levels coming in here. And then I've got Ableton returning on tracks nine and 10. And I've got the switch, the input switch set to PC. One of the things that I've found, one of the things that I've found using the Model 12 is by default, when you want to send computer audio back to the Model 12, it wants to come in on channels one and two, which is fine. There's no problem with that for the most part. The only way that I really have a problem with that is channels one and two are the only two channels that have physical inserts. So on the back of them, you could plug in an external effects unit. You could plug in uh, a compressor, a gate, whatever you want to do. But those are the only two channels that actually have that. Secondly, you have to make sure then that when you're controlling, say, for example, Ableton, that all of your settings are the same on your channel strip, on your faders, that you haven't accidentally bumped one up. You got to make sure that those are coming in the way that you want them to. Defaults to that. They come, the computer sends sound back on channels one and two. I wasn't a big fan of that. And so here's what I did to kind of get around that. For one, one of the things that you can do is say you're in Ableton, say you're in Logic, say you're in Reaper. I've done it in Reaper and I've done it in Ableton. But one of the things you can do, if we switch over here to uh, Ableton, is you can see my master out is coming out nine and 10. Uh, you'll see in the output configuration, I've got mono outputs one and two. Should I want to use one and two? I can do it. I can send back to one and two from Ableton. But more importantly, I've got seven and eight in a stereo pair and I've got nine and 10 in a stereo pair. So what does that mean? That means that I can send uh, from this master bus channel here, right? I've routed the master out of Ableton to nine and 10. So again, that comes in here, channels nine and 10. Cause again, Tascam model 12, model 12 meaning 10 actual input channels. Plus you can record when you're doing SD card recording and stuff onto channels 11 and 12, which is the main bus. When it comes down to it, that's one way you can do it per a piece of software, right? But then how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you change it so that you can do that with maybe playing back just your standard Mac audio? I mean, if you're like me, when I've got a good interface mixer plugged in, I've got my studio monitors hooked up to it. I've got my headphones hooked up to it. I want to be able to play whatever back to it. So here's what I did is um, I jumped in and uh, if you go into the, I've got it open here, audio devices. And this is on a Mac, this is the way to do it. On audio MIDI setup, jump in, jump to your model 12 here, and you'll see you know input and output settings and you'll see all of your tracks. Well, by default, it's still set up to go out of channels one and two. But if you click here on configure speakers, you can then, see what happened here? You can then tell it to send the left out of nine and the right out of 10. So now, whatever I play out of my Mac, uh, channels nine and 10, whatever I play out of my Mac now comes out of channels nine and 10. The only caveat to that is for example, Final Cut Pro when I'm editing videos, it is looking for specific outputs, not just left, right, because you can do multi, you know, you can do 5.1, you could do very specific outputs. Ableton, Logic Reaper, those things all 
uh, need to be set manually to come out of 9 and 10. Some of these more audio video specific programs. But overall, like if I, uh, let's see, if I open up Splice here, let's see, where is it going to open up? Okay, perfect. If I open this up now, what you'll notice is when we just go in here and let's just play uh, this drum loop. Uh, we'll see. Let's go to a random one here. And actually, maybe we can use this for some inspiration, right? I'll come in here and we'll say, let's go to some effects. And then let's go with this one. What you'll notice is you can't see it until I switch my camera here. That one now, even though I didn't set up anything different on it, uh, aside from that audio MIDI setup, it is coming in on channels 9 and 10 rather than 1, 2. Coming in on 9 and 10. And again, one of the main reasons I love that is because when you are doing your mixes, when you're doing your live streams, whatever you're doing, it's one fader for a stereo track then rather than trying to balance between two different you know, and making sure that all of your settings are the same. Here, I've got everything straight up. This is just the uh, frequency selector. So straight up, no compression, everything straight up. That is the way that you get the output from your Mac to go through to channels nine and 10 for one fader. The second half of that though, so what you'll see here is now I've got loopback. Here's loopback. Again, fantastic software for making virtual audio in instances, right? So I've got this Model 12 loopback that I've created. I've got the actual source device, which is my Model 12. And you can see my vocal is coming in on channel three here. But then you'll see channels 11 and 12. Well, that's my main bus. That's my main fader on the task amp. If I turn that down, you see that I lose everything there, right? So channels 11, 12, I need to send those back to OBS. But OBS is one of those programs that's looking for just left, right, channels one and two for the most part, right? So the easy way to do that is to send 11 and 12 to a virtual output of one and two. So again, I'm taking all of my inputs physical inputs coming in on my uh, Tascam Model 12. I'm running Ableton or whatever software you want to stream into channel 9 and 10, which then all run into channels 11 and 12. So again, if I play Ableton back here, and we'll, we'll keep it a little bit quieter here, but if you look at uh, loop back here, you can see click track coming in 7 and 8, which again, turn that up. And then you can see, here's, here's my song coming in 9 and 12. And all of those things, because this is a mixer, get sent to 11 and 12. 11 and 12 go to a virtual output. They go to the virtual output 1 and 2. That then in OBS, in Zoom, whatever platform, you know, whatever you're using, Ecamm Live, uh, all these things. Now you can just say, hey, what's my audio input? Well, it's the loopback model 12. It's model 12 loopback. And it just has left and right, one and two, even though I'm mixing into it all of these other things. 